back to my channel. So I'm super excited to be back and to do this review video for you guys. In this video, I'm reviewing three products. It'll be the L'Oreal Paris brand new mask. I only have one of them. Um, I got the one that I would really use the most and I didn't want to get all of them until I knew I would use them all. And then I'm reviewing the NYX matte lip creams and I'm also reviewing the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. In this video, I am doing the same tutorial that I wore makeup wise for the Made Me Way inspiration video. Um, I, the only thing that I changed is that I don't have the dark pink love letter eyeshadow underneath my eyelids. That's the only thing I do not have. I just did some black liner and some mascara on the bottom. So I just kind of kept it simple. And I'm wearing this um, really cute ball, like, like jersey kind of material, which is really cool. Looks like I'm going to a baseball game, basically. So I just want to have a little playful, fun outfit. And I'm really excited to do this review for you guys. I've been waiting for a long time. And I've been talking about it all over my social media, but I actually haven't been able to do the video. So yeah, weather is nice. I have good lighting. I finally got my makeup done and I got up early. That is a success and a success day of filming. So if you guys want to see this review video, check it out. Keep on watching if you guys want to see my thoughts on all these three products. So in this video today, I am wearing the same makeup look I did in last week's tutorial. Actually, it was like three days ago, but for me, it was in the last week because I filmed it last week, but I am doing the same tutorial and this is what it looks like. Now, I had a little incident with this eye when I did film. I guess I got something in my eye and it was like really, really just watery and it like messed up my whole like crease and everything so i wanted to redo it and really show you guys what the look looks like and i am wearing the new nyx um soft matte lip cream and abu dhabi so this is what that color looks like and this is what the look looks like if you guys were wondering all right so let's continue with the review so the first thing i really want to talk about is the lip i'm wearing today i thought that was just a really simple thing to really talk about something really easy and really fast um so this is the nyx soft lip cream and this is in the color abu dhabi which is 09 but it's says SMLC, which I don't know what that means, small container maybe, but um, this is the Abu Dhabi and this is the matte lip cream. So this is what the bottle looks like and all these come in the same kind of little bottle and design it's just different colors. So I really love this soft lip cream. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit iffy about it at first. It is very streaky. I can't do a swatch for you guys. It is really streaky. So I had to do like multiple layers at a time and I don't know. I love matte. So that's why I really want to try it. I love matte lipsticks. And this is a matte lip cream. So I kind of didn't realize it would be a lip cream until like now that I used it. But this is what it looks like. It's just a matte cream. And it's really an amazing consistency. I have it on my lips now and it's really, really beautiful. And if you do multiple layers, it dries really nicely. And it does not crease. And I have not tried any eating with it yet, but um, I'll let you guys know about that. So, but I'm assuming that it will be an amazing come off or anything like that. So, I will let you guys know for sure about the residue coming off and how long it lasts during the day. I will let you know that. Uh, but I definitely love this lip cream. It is an amazing cosmetic brand to get. And if you guys still can't afford a soft matte lipstick or anything out in you know, the more expensive makeup world, then this is something you can really get that's inexpensive. And I really love this for sure. I definitely want to try more colors, something more dark, because this is really light on me. So I definitely want to try more dark colors. Next, I'm going to be talking about the Too Faced Born This Way Oil-Free Natural Radiant Concealer. I just recently bought this from Sephora, probably about two weeks ago. Um, I was at the Linux Mall in Atlanta, and I went ahead and got the, the Linux Malls in Buckhead. If you guys do not know what that is, it's a really expensive mall, and it is an amazing mall, and it's beautiful. If you are visiting in Atlanta, I recommend going to Lex Mall. It is gorgeous. But um, I love this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I honestly, this is probably the best concealer I've ever used. It, I mean, I don't do any corrector underneath my eyes, which I maybe should have. Um, I didn't know. I don't know. I don't like using corrector just because I still like having that natural under eye look because I don't want just that fake look and me look sickening. So I really wanted to still have, but I still wanted to have that natural glow look and that's why I picked out this concealer and I absolutely love this concealer. If you guys have not seen what this package is, this is what the package looks like. Just the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced and it just says natural radiant concealer and on the side it has infused with coconut water to infuse with coconut water to delightly replenish skin's moisture levels alpine rose to brighten and boost skin's radiance and alkarian acid for a smoother more youthful appearance after using born this way concealer 100% said it showed improved in skin moisture levels so i absolutely agree with that i have so much more moisture underneath my eyes for sure because i do have really intense dark purplish circles so it really did help with covering that for sure if i don't use a corrector now i'm 
kind of want to start using corrector and see how I look just to see between natural and more of the more fake look I just want to see what looks better on me but I definitely want to try corrector if you guys do have dark circles like I do just I know they have them in CVS or Sephora they use a just corrector and if you use an orange corrector blend it out and then put the concealer over it after you do your foundation so do foundation then the corrector and then do concealer and you should be good um just with me i don't nor normally use corrector so i kind of want to try it let me know down in the comments down below if you guys have any really good corrector for under eyes that you guys use that i should probably check out and use on a daily basis because i would love to know your comments and i'll definitely check out any products you guys love when i do not mention in the, the Too Faced born this way concealer it is in the fair the color fair so that's what the color is and if you just open it up this is what the bottle looks like it is a really beautiful bottle honestly and it just says born this way naturally radiant concealer Too Faced. and honestly the just consistency of this crap is so thick you don't need that much like i use probably like some right here just a little bit underneath my eyes i use some just to highlight on my chin and forehead and that's really about it in my nose so it's a really good consistency i'm not going to swatch this though because i need every little drop of it so i'm not going to swatch this but if you guys want to swatch it go into the sephora store or ulta because i know ulta carries this as well and swatch your shade and see if you will like it and just kind of swirl it around on the palm of your hand and see if it really matches your shade of your skin tone to lighten up in certain areas so if you guys want to see a color swatch i would definitely go in the store and swatch before you actually buy it because that's what i did so the last product i want to talk about in this video is the l'oreal skin expector paris this is the new pure clay mask the purify and mattifies this is the three pure clay mask so they have three different masks that they came out with this year it is this one which is the hibiscus one and then they came out with a detox and brighten treatment mask which is a charcoal mask and then they come out with exfoliate and refine treatment mask which is like an orange tone color which i don't know what color that is or flavor um, I will have to check that out and you guys know, but I wanted to only get one really try it out so I knew if I wanted to get more because I don't want to get another product of this if I don't like it or the consistency of the mask. So I'm going to do a little unboxing to show you guys what the scent is and the box all together. So on the front, again, it says Royal Paris, the new Pure Clay Mask, Pure Fine Mattify, the three Pure Clays, and Hibiscus. So that's what it looks like. And on the side, it just says all three of the pure clay masks you can buy and store. Um, the Purify, Modify, Detox, and Brighten, and Exfoliate and Refine. So that's what it says on the side. And then on the other side, this is how to use. So you apply an even amount of this mask all over your face. You do not go under your eyes. Like, I mean, I did some over my eyes just because I have bags, so I want to treat the eyes and brighten it up a little bit. A apply to an even layer to clean dry skin, avoiding eye and lip area. Apply on for five to 10 minutes or even 15, then remove with water. For best results, use three times a week. So I've only used it one time this week. I'll probably use it tomorrow because I just did my makeup look today. I will probably use this this weekend. So that's kind of three. So yeah, I definitely love this mask. It is so, so hydrating, especially with the hibiscus in it. It really soothes your skin if you do have some irritation in some areas because I do have red in my skin. So it kind of really to help with that and brighten it up a lot. So on the bottom of that, it says glide on and rinse off easily. It does not dry out skin and all skin types. So this is an all skin types mask, all three of them are. So on the back it just says Pure Clay Mask, L'Oreal Paris Skin Experts created a range of clay mud masks to beautify your skin in minutes. Each mask is powdered by three different clays in their pure form. Okay, so I didn't know that. So the first one is a hibiscus clay, the second is the charcoal clay, and the third is a, I think probably red clay. So I'm assuming those are all the three clays. Three different clays in their pure form and enhanced with a natural source ingredient. Formulated indulgent creamy textures that turn your mask into a multi and central experience with every use. So after it says pure clay mask, it kind of describes what this mask does. It says, why is this mask right for me? Day after day, impurities, dirt, makeup, and excess oils build up clogging pores, leaving your complexion overly oiled. After times, a cleansing isn't enough to solve this problem. Purify and Mattify Pure Clay Mask and addresses your skin concerns to re reveal clarified, mattified, and refreshed complexion. 
So I really wanted that clarified, mattified, and refreshed complexion because I've had some issues with my complexion just because of the redness and my dark areas on my face. So that's why I really wanted to try this out and really brighten up my face and I'm definitely going to be using this three times a week. So this is what the back looks like, all that stuff that I read, and also the bottom it says see effective results. So I'm immediately skin is perfectly clean and clear, pores look unclogged with all impurities removed, skin looks less shiny and looks less shiny and excess sebum is reduced and skin looks smoother. Use after use, skin looks regenerized and refreshed. Skin looks as though it can breathe better and skin is healthy looking and more beautiful. I can absolutely agree with that. Everything they listed in this box, on this box, it is exactly, exactly true. I love this mask so much. So, I mean, it does get really, really hard on your skin, I'm not gonna lie, because it's very, very dry and it just kinda like sucking up. So it does, it kinda feels like you're getting Botox, but it's not like that, like, hurting part. It's just that really tight on your face, like right up in here and on your forehead. So I definitely would try this mask out for sure. If you guys really are looking for a good mask, I recommend this completely. This mask is amazing. I absolutely love, love, love this mask. So definitely would go check out this mask and also try the other three. I wanna really try out the other three as much as the other two. So I love this mask so much and I definitely recommend this mask completely. If you guys do not know where to get this, I saw this at, I think it was Walmart. So you guys get this at Walmart. I know they sell my Ulta. Um, I don't think about Sephora because they don't sell like cosmetic stuff like this, like L'Oreal and stuff like that. You guys need this at Target, I believe, as well, because I think they carry L'Oreal. So I definitely would check this mask out completely. I love this stuff so much, and it definitely brightened up my, my face, because I did just use this a few days ago, and I can see results on one use. So I definitely would recommend this completely. This is the Purify and Mattify mask. So I definitely would recommend getting this. Just open up the package, it comes up like this, and there's these two flaps. You have to open it like this, which is kind of confusing. I have no idea did open it like that. So you open it like that, and it kind of unravels, which the other side is not unraveling, which I don't know why, but I'm just gonna leave it. So it comes up in this little pot like this, and it just says pure clay and mask, and it kind of just gives you a description on the back, like I did on the box. So you just open it up like this, the lid obviously, and there's a little thing on the top so it doesn't spill out. And it's really, really nice because you don't want it just to be all over this nasty cap and just it getting everywhere. So this is one thing I really loved about the product and you just open up like that and this is the color of the product. It is so beautiful. It's like almost like the lightest, lightest mint and green you can find and it's so gorgeous and beautiful and I love it. So I do recommend this product completely. I love it so much and the packaging is a plus like I love this packaging it's I mean some of the boxes beat up but this packaging in particular is really nice and I love how it had the seal on top so it doesn't get messy on this actual really nice lid all right guys so I really hope you enjoyed this review video I had an amazing time reviewing these three products for you guys I know it was a very short video but I really wanted to sit down and kind of do this review video really quick and I really am gonna try more of the NYX lip creams more of the Too Faced creams um the concealer and I am gonna try for sure the other two of these masks and I will let you guys know. But I really love this mask, it's to death. It is an amazing, amazing mask. It makes you feel so hydrated, so replenished. Your skin feels so good after a long day of wearing your makeup, just having that oiliness and just dry. It just clears it up and it's an amazing, amazing product. I completely recommend it completely. If you guys want to know where to get these products, I will leave them in the description down below. So you guys don't even have to worry about where to get them. I will let you guys know exactly. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys all for the amazing support. And if you guys have not checked out my new YouTube banner, it is up above. I really guys hope you enjoyed that. And please leave any comments if you guys have any interest in the banner at all. Um, I really want to know your guys' thoughts because I designed it and it took me a long time. So I really want to know effect on it and change it all on the banner because I want it to be the best banner I've designed and really represent me and who I am. But I'm gonna do another video on that, so addressing it. I don't wanna get into it too much, but I love you guys so much. Thank you guys all for the amazing, incredible support. Let's get to 200 subscribers. Um, we're already at like 115, so I know we can get there or even higher. So love you guys so much. Please like and subscribe to this video. Subscribe up above and like down below and leave any comments and any questions you guys have on any of these products and reviews I did in this video. And I will leave the links down below so you guys can check out where to get these products. I love you guys so much. And again, if you guys want to see this tutorial that I'm wearing right now, um, I'll leave it in the description down below. And this is the Manny Inspiration. So love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And I see hating your heart again. Becoming something you never know. Did you leave?
even know this.